Before operating the rescue tool, make sure the clutch knob directly above the power head is tight and the quick change attachment pins are firmly seated in place. Do not attempt to adjust the position of the clutch while the arms or cutters are under load. Remove tension on the attachments before loosening the clutch. This will allow positioning in the complete 70 degree range of motion. Activating the trigger switch in the back of the unit operates the rescue tool. Turning the switch to the left or counterclockwise will open the attachments. Turning the switch to the right or clockwise will close the attachments. The rescue tool is designed to shut off automatically when it reaches maximum force. When this occurs, reverse direction to relieve load and reposition the tool. After the tool has shut off automatically, do not continue to move the attachments in the same direction. Do not carry or hold the tool by the trigger switch. Hold the handles and operate the trigger switch with a finger. The round handle is designed to allow easy grasp of the tool and operation of the trigger switch when held in any position. Remember, one hand on each handle at all times. Hold the tool only by the handles when operating. Never use the tool while holding the cutting or spreading attachments. Operate the tool only with the clutch knob tightened. The clutch is intended to secure the position of the attachments. Powerhawk cutter attachments are designed to cut a variety of materials. Be aware that cutting certain hardened metals may result in blade damage. When cutting with the Powerhawk cutting attachments, make sure the object being cut is anchored on both sides and that the tool is firmly held. Make sure the cutter bolt is tight. The cutter nut should be torqued to recommended settings as listed in the operation manual. Make sure the cutter link spiral rings are secure. Do not allow the blades to twist so that they separate while cutting. If separation occurs, stop and reposition to eliminate this problem. The Powerhawk is a highly versatile and unique tool that enables you to perform jobs beyond the limits of traditional rescue tools. The following section demonstrates special techniques using the Powerhawk so that you can better adapt to the situation to get the job done. Use the patented variable 70 degree swivel of the power head to add tremendous versatility by gaining access into tighter places for performing around the corner operations. There is no loss of spreading or cutting power. Position the attachment to the desired angle of rotation and make sure the clutch knob is tightened to prevent uncontrolled movement of the power head. To prevent damage to the tool, the tightened clutch is designed to slip if the tool body becomes loaded against an object. The degree of tightness of the clutch can be adjusted to improve your technique. For example, a thumb tightened clutch will be sufficient to prevent uncontrolled swinging of the power head. However, it will still allow the operator to rotate the tool body without loosening the clutch by simply pulling on the rear handle. To reduce the ease of this rotation, apply greater tightening to the clutch. When using the P16 Rescue Tool as a spreader, you can provide greater leverage and deliver higher spreading forces by understanding and applying the following two principles. As the spreader arms move in the opening direction, the effective spreading force of the tool increases as the arms move apart. Therefore, by finding purchase points that are wider apart, you will give yourself a greater leverage and deliver higher spreading forces. The deeper the engagement point of the spreader arms, the greater the effective spreading force will be. You will notice that in addition to the serrations at the tips of the spreader arms, there are gripping serrations along the majority of the outer surface of the arms 
to facilitate such engagement. For example, each time you make an opening and then move the spreader arms deeper into the working material, you improve your leverage and increase the spreading force of the tool. The C1601 curved cutter is highly effective for cutting vehicle posts, making relief cuts, cutting hinges, pipe, rebar, and other objects. The cutter tips are designed to wrap around and capture the material to make the cut. The pointed tips may also be used to puncture through sheet metal, pipe, and other soft materials. Before cutting, make sure that all three ends are secure. Although traditional cutting methods teach you to begin your cut perpendicular to the material, a way to improve cutting is to actually start at an angle greater than 90 degrees opposite of the natural twist of the blades. Simply lean the machined angle of the cutter blade toward the working material. As the cutter closes, it will twist naturally and finish perpendicular. This will lessen blade separation and improve cutting especially when the material is compressed and most difficult to cut. For vehicle posts and pipe that exceed the limits of the cutter, make the first cut through the center of the material, then make a second cut to sever completely through. The CS1602 power blade is an extremely versatile P16 tool attachment that will enable you to perform a variety of operations. The power blade is rated to cut 3 8 inch steel plate. The notch at the base of the blades is used for cutting solid steel bar, steel cable, and more. The crossover feature of the blades provide for special techniques such as opening small seams, facilitating continuous cutting breaking padlocks, and more. The serrations on the outside tips of the cutter enable the power blade to be used as a spreader. Cutting forces are strongest at the notch and become less as you move out toward the tips. To achieve maximum cutting performance, engage the notch in the working material whenever possible. When cutting steel plate, make sure that all free ends are secure. Position the power blade so that the first serrated tooth at the notch engages the material at the edge of the steel plate. Begin your cut at an angle to the material that is greater than 90 degrees in order to offset the natural twist and avoid blade separation. If the cutter twists abruptly and blade separation occurs, Stop the tool immediately and reposition the cutter to a new starting location. Continuous cutting of steel plate can be achieved by simply moving the cutter forward after the tool has automatically shut off and re-engage the material at the notch. When cutting solid steel bar, make sure that all free ends are secure. Position the power blade so that the steel bar is in the notch of the cutter. Begin your cut at an angle to the material that is greater than 90 degrees in order to offset the natural twist and avoid blade separation. If the cutter twists abruptly and blade separation occurs, stop the tool immediately and reposition the cutter to a new starting location. When cutting pipe, make sure that all free ends are secure. With the power blade in the fully open position, engage the pipe as close to the notch as possible and begin closing the tool. If the cutter begins to slide back away from the pipe, continue to operate the cutter in the closing direction until the blades begin to crush the pipe. Reopen the cutter and move it forward to engage the notch into the material. Repeat these steps as necessary until severing of the pipe is achieved. If the cutter twists abruptly and blade separation occurs, stop the tool immediately and reposition the cutter to a new starting location.
The unique crossover feature of the power blade will enable access and opening of seams less than one quarter inch wide. Operate the trigger switch of the P16 rescue tool so that the tips of the power blade are together and make one point. Position the pointed tips into the seam and apply inward pressure of the tool to ensure engagement. Operate the tool in the closing direction so that the tips begin to cross over and the flat sides of the cutter blades engage the working material. Continue to operate in the closing direction until the desired opening is achieved or the crossover limit of 3 inches is reached. To achieve greater opening distance, operate the tool in the opposite direction and engage the spreading serrations at the tips of the cutter. Up to 10 inches of displacement can be achieved. This technique can be used for a variety of applications, including forcible entry on building doors. The unique crossover feature of the power blade will facilitate continuous cutting such as car roofs and posts. With the power blade fully opened, position the cutter so that the notch engages the working material. Operate the P16 rescue tool in the closing direction so that the cutter severs the material. Once the tips of the cutter puncture through the material, continue to operate the tool in the same direction through its crossover. This will create a larger opening in the material that will allow the cutter to be easily moved forward into position for the next cut. The design and unique crossover feature of the power blade can be used to break padlocks by spreading apart the shackle. Operate the trigger switch of the P16 rescue tool so that the tips of the power blade are together and make one point. Position the pointed tips in between the shackle of the padlock and operate the tool in the closing direction until the machined serrations in the cutter blades engage the shackle. Continue to operate in the same direction to break the shackle. Do not attempt to cut through the shackle as this could cause damage to the blades. This video has been created as a supplement to the PowerHawk P16 rescue system and power pusher owner operation and maintenance manual.